This month's update is quite small, but you still came to this video, so let's see what changed. The most important change to gameplay this month is the change made to respawn points. There is now a limit on how many sleeping bags you can have, which is set at 15 by default, though this is plenty for most players. You can also now see bags along with their timers on the map by toggling them here. Unclaiming bags was also made easier, as you can now unclaim any unwanted bags directly from the map by holding down the delete button for a few seconds. Unclaimed bags do not disappear though, so you'll still have to break them if you want to completely get rid of them. Some other improvements were also made to the in-game map apart from sleeping bags. Map markers can now be labeled and markers from you and your team leader will be visible in a list on the left side of your screen. New animations were also added for when you're upgrading buildings, which turned out pretty nice, so here's a few. A new shipping container DLC is being added, which is similar to the Adobe DLC and adds colored shipping container skins for all sheet metal building elements. You can use the spray can to choose from 16 different colors, and if no color is selected, you will use the same random color for all upgrades. While upgrading, you can now also choose if you want to use vanilla or skinned building elements. Continuing from last month, handmade shells received world models as well. Some changes were made to improve the wipe timer, as it is now compatible with more time zones and the command print wipe was added to display information about upcoming server wipes, though I believe this is an admin only command as of right now. You can now change RF frequencies in the vicinity of hostile tool cupboards. The no build zone around the missile silo was made a bit larger. Bradley no longer targets players in safe zones and commands were added to enable infinite ammo, repair all items in inventory, and reload all weapons for server admins. So that's it from me, I've been Mimish, and you're now up to speed about the latest news in Rust. If you feel like this video helped you, consider subscribing, joining the Discord server, or maybe even contributing financially to help the channel. Special thanks to Bothered Nickel, Raven the Messenger, and Raz Van Volk for supporting me, and have a great wipe everyone.